I'm Alan Taylor, the director of CTE at Prosser Career Education Center in New Albany. Why are CTE advisory committees important? The purpose of the CTE advisory committee is to support and strengthen the CTE program. So it really is no surprise that the strongest CTE programs will have the strongest uh, advisory committees. What advice do you have for new CTE faculty who are forming advisory committees for the very first time? Well, two or three things uh, immediately come to mind. Uh, first of all, be conscious of your membership makeup. So be sure you have a variety of members. Uh, have individuals from the post-secondary institution that you're working with on the committee. Maybe have someone from your sending school on your committee. Um, have individuals from uh, maybe a labor union or labor organization. Uh, have individuals from uh, upper level management within organizations within the, the, that you're representing uh, and, and maybe you have others that are actively involved with the, the particular skill level. So just be conscious of the, the makeup. Uh, secondly, um, be sure that you clearly uh, let your membership know of their role. Uh, some organizations refer to uh, the advisory committee as a board, other organizations refer to it as a uh, committee. Uh, regardless, the advisory committee is advisory in nature. It is not a board or it does not act as a board. Uh, they do not set policy, they do not give directives to you or your administration. Uh, be clear with the membership so, and, and if, uh, if you are clear that will prevent any future um, type of frustration. And I think lastly it will be important that you find a way to continually communicate with your members. Do not wait until your meeting or your one or two meetings in a year to communicate. Find ways to keep them involved in your program. Uh, send them information electronically or in print. Uh, have them into your classrooms. Just find ways to communicate uh, and remember that again the most healthy CTE programs will have strong CTE advisory committees.